Got myself here a new turbo head. Wearing gloves because it's not new, it's second hand. So here it is, official Dyson mini turbo head. It's not too bad inside. Ooh, the white balance has gone mad. But yeah, there we go. It's a bit skanky in there. But it's going to go with my DCO5. Hopefully it'll be a good extra tool for the stairs. And maybe some other small areas, upholstery, etc. Um, I haven't even tried if it fits yet, to be honest. It's supposed to fit the DCO5 and a few others. But you've got this weird ring here. Um, you kind of line it up and then you slide this back if I remember what it does what does it do? ah yes you press that slide it back and then you should if I remember rightly be able to open up the mechanism how does it work again Oh, this side. There we go. And that's where you see all your lovely, glorious dirt. Mm. Needs a good cleaning there. Not sure if it opens fully or that's about it, but as you can see, there we go. Same mechanism as the main turbo head. Got your turbo, turbine, blades here and they're offset again just like the big one and again it's turning a belt as you can see there and that in turn turns the roller, bl roller brush and there's all sorts of bits coming out of here yummy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip this completely down and Everything's going to be cleaned and soaked in Dettol. It's not too bad. You know, it's had use. It's not too scratched up. It's got like a bit of a floating head here. Not, not the smoothest, so that does need cleaning, but you can see it's supposed to go over surfaces and bumps. Made in Germany. Hmm. It's the same pattern as the purple turbo head that we've got. Um, so yeah, to fit it back, slide it down, push the yellow collar back down into it. Um, I, I don't actually know what this is all about. I think that's just allows you to steer it, I guess, to a point. Okay, there we go. I've got my lovely bleach bucket. I've given the turbine a bit of a clean. Got some of the hairs off. So in that goes. Other part of the mechanism there that will stay. That goes in. And I've taken the hairs off here just to make it easier. I found the date wheel in here. I think it was 2001. Uh, where is it? Just in there. Just below the belt. Difficult to see. But yeah, 2001 I think that is. So, pretty vintage. Anyway, in it goes. Good soak. And I'll agitate that. And we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to test it until it's had a, a full dry. So, easy for you because you'll just keep watching the video and you'll see it being used. But for me, I've got an agonising wait before I can use it. Uh, I didn't want to use it on my lovely clean vacuum cleaner. Don't mind my own dust, but someone else's crud. I don't really want going into the system and all the filters, so I'm going to do a bit of a cleanup. I'll agitate that, and then we'll have a part two when you'll see it running. Hopefully, fingers crossed. 
So there we are, it's been cleaned. The new turbo head, mini one. As you can see, it's fairly similar to the regular size turbo head in design and color. It's just, what is it, half the size? Eh, around half the size. So good for stairs, etc. Um, as you can see, the large one you can only open by screws, and you've got um, a bit of a squeegee there, which is well worn. But this one's very simple. But it just relies on this plastic floating head. It makes a good seal, actually. It's it's all right. It works quite well. So there we go, all clean. And here's the inside. So it looks much better now. Everything cleaned, all the bits of hair taken off. Because they're the bits that slow down the mechanism, all the hair that goes around this spindle here. That's the issue with this a lot of the time. But yeah, looks all pretty good. So let's give it a go. Okay, earphone users, be prepared. Well, that's that's working really well. It spins really fast. So that's pretty cool. So good result there. Cheap addition for the Dyson. Keep it going. Thanks for watching.